good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel um i just hope everybody's doing well i pray that y'all are blessed i really do um i love y'all so much and i just pray y'all are doing well so i'm gonna pray and then i'm gonna jump right into my video thank you father for waking us up god thank you for encamping your angels around our home last night god thank you for protecting us father we pray for everybody in the nations and the nations surrounding us father god in israel we pray that all will be well god we pray that the mighty hand of god will move on on our behalf god and we just pray that you will bless us today god i pray that you would decrease all of me god and that you would show up on this video today god and speak a word that would encourage somebody and help somebody and comfort somebody it's in jesus name that i pray amen so i was um worshiping this morning and i was listening to this song and it's a pretty old song but it's by jason nelson and it's called shifting the atmosphere and I thought it was so important to talk about this this morning because, you know, when you ha when you face different things or you're going through so much at one time and you just don't know how to get your mind off of those things. Like your mind wants to keep thinking about this stuff and replaying this stuff over and over in, in your head, right? But you really have to use your authority because you can actually shift the atmosphere you have the authority inside of you if you have the holy spirit to shift the atmosphere so you don't have to sit with those thoughts that's why the bible tells us to take every thought captive and i spoke about that on here before but i'll say it again in order for you to take your thoughts captive you have to know the word of god to fight the thoughts the negative thoughts that the devil puts in your head and so a lot of times he'll keep reminding you of something that's hurting you and in order for you to shift the atmosphere and to take the thought captive, you have to take that same very thought and make it obey the word of God. So you say, yeah, I hear you, devil. Yeah, you're trying to remind me of my past. But the Bible says that no man shall perish. So I take that thought captive and I make it obey the word of God that I will not perish. I don't care what I've done. God has forgiven me. He loves me. And he's there for me. And he said he'll never leave me nor forsake me. So you shift the atmosphere. You basically took that thought and you turned it around. Instead of you thinking negative or feeling bad or having condemnation for the things that he's trying to remind you of, you're fighting him back with the word of God. There are 66 Bible books in the Bible, right? So God didn't just write the Bible just to write it. It's for us to use it. It's for us to take authority. It's for us to remember situations that people faced in the Bible before us. It's for us to have something to compare our situations to and say, well, if God did it for her, then I know he can do it for me. When Hannah cried out in 1 Samuel, she cried out for a baby, but she also was crying out because Panana was messing with her. You know, she was getting tired of being looked at as, you know, infertile and not being able, not being capable of having children. She was tired of that. So she just cried out to God and God answered her. So I say that to say that's an example of when you're going through so much and you cry out to God, he will answer you. Um, Psalm 30, 34, 17 says that God hears the prayers of the righteous and he'll deliver you. So, yeah, I just wanted to encourage you all because this is life changing. You know, I needed this. This is something that I've been needing to do more and more of lately. Um, because I was, I'm one of them people that will sit idle and worry, you know, sit and be thinking about stuff over and over and over again. I'll sit there and allow the enemy to play with me, you know, but God has been reminding me that I have the power to shift the atmosphere. I can't just jump on YouTube to hear a video or turn on a sermon or put on worship music. That's good to put on worship music or even to listen to a sermon, but you still have to know how to speak to it in that moment. You might can't get to your phone that fast, but you know the word of God is in your mind, it's in your head, it's there with you, right? So God loves us, y'all. We are literally the apple of his eye. He don't like nobody messing with us. So, But he gives us these tools and he gives us these strategies because he know it works. You know, that's why in Ephesians, Paul talks about putting on the full armor of God because when you put on that full armor, 
you defeat the wiles of the enemy. You defeat him already because you already got your helmet of salvation. <laughs> you already got your shoes of peace. You already got peace when you walked out the door. You know, you already got your belt of truth. You got your sword of the spirit. You got your shield. You got everything. You, don't, you didn't leave out the house naked. So therefore, the devil can miss you. You know, he can miss you all day long. So, yeah, I just wanted to um, talk about that and, you know, just to encourage y'all, like I said, and I pray that it did bless you and I love you guys so much and I'll be back on here with another video soon. Y'all take care.